Long before Tyrannosaurus Rex stumped the Earth, another era reigned supreme, the Paleozoic. Imagine a world teeming with life, but forget the cuddly creatures of today. These were the original Terror Titans, monstrous predators unlike anything you've ever seen. We're talking giant sea scorpions with pincers that could crush bone, massive fish with razor-sharp teeth, and colossal, armored creatures that stalked the shallows. We will start with Dumpley Astuce. Dunkley Astuce belonged to a group of prehistoric fishes known as placoderms, characterized by their bony plates covering their heads and bodies. These ancient creatures are renowned for their imposing size and fearsome appearance. Dunkley Astuce, named after David Dunkel, a curator at the Cleveland Museum of Natural History, was one of the largest placoderms and among the largest predators of its time. Dunkley Stews boasted a formidable set of jaws lined with sharp, self-sharpening bony plates instead of teeth. These bony plates, called nathal plates, could slice through flesh and crush bone with ease. Its heavily armored head and body provided protection against potential predators and rivals. The rest of its body was streamlined for swift movement through the water, allowing Dunkley Stews to ambush its prey with surprising speed and agility. As a carnivorous predator, Dunkley Stews primarily preyed upon other fish and marine organisms. Its powerful jaws and slicing bite enabled it to swiftly dispatch its prey, which it likely swallowed whole. Dunkley Stews likely employed ambush tactics, lie in wait for unsuspecting prey before launching a lightning-fast attack. Its formidable bite force and armored body made it a dominant predator in the ancient seas, capable of preying on even the most well-defended creatures. Next, we will talk about Medvinura, Meganeuro were enormous insects belonging to the order Meganosoptera, which lived during the Carboniferous period, approximately 300 to 325 million years ago. They are considered to be some of the largest insects to have ever lived, with wingspans reaching up to 75 centimeters or even more. Size and physical features of Meganeuro were truly awe-inspiring. These ancient insects boasted a robust body structure with large elongated wings that allowed for efficient flight. Their wingspans rivaled those of small birds, making them formidable aerial predators in the Carboniferous skies. Meganeura also featured large compound eyes, which likely provided them with keen vision for hunting prey and navigating their environment. Flight capabilities were a defining feature of Meganeura. With their massive wings and lightweight bodies, they were well adapted for aerial locomotion. It's believed that they were highly agile flyers capable of swift and precise movements, allowing them to pursue and capture smaller prey in mid-air. In terms of ecological role, Meganeura likely played a significant role in controlling insect populations and participating in the complex food web of the Carboniferous ecosystems. Fossil evidence of Meganeura has provided valuable insights into their morphology, behavior, and habitat. Fossilized remains, including wing impressions and body fossils, have been discovered in various Carboniferous deposits around the world, particularly in locations with well-preserved fossil records such as Europe and North America. Lastly, we will discuss Dimetrodon. Dimetrodon was not a dinosaur but rather an early terrestrial vertebrate belonging to a group called Synapsids, which eventually gave rise to mammals. It lived approximately 295 to 272 million years ago. Dimetrodon is often mistaken for a dinosaur due to its appearance and its prominence in popular culture, but it actually lived millions of years before dinosaurs evolved. Dimetrodon was characterized by its distinctive sail-like structure on its back, formed by elongated neural spines supported by bony struts. These sails could have served various functions, including thermoregulation, display, or even stabilization while swimming. Dimetrodon had a long, slender body with powerful jaws filled with sharp teeth. It walked on four legs and had a sprawling gait similar to modern reptiles. Dimetrodon was an apex predator of its time, preying on smaller vertebrates and early amphibians. Its sharp teeth were adapted for tearing flesh, indicating a carnivorous diet. Despite its intimidating appearance, Dimetrodon likely employed ambush hunting strategies, relying on its speed and agility to catch prey. Its sail may have also played a role in regulating body temperature during hunting activities. Fossil evidence of Dimetrodon has been found primarily in North America, particularly in regions that were once part of the supercontinent Pangaea. These fossils have provided valuable insights into the anatomy, behavior, and evolutionary history of Dimetrodon and its relatives. 
Dimetrodon holds significant evolutionary importance as one of the earliest synapsids, representing a crucial transitional stage between reptiles and mammals in the evolutionary timeline. We surface from the primeval depths, blaking away the visions of these Paleozoic nightmares. Their reign may be over, but their story serves as a powerful reminder of the constant evolution of life on Earth. Who knows what terrifying wonders lurk undiscovered in the distant past? Share your thoughts on these Paleozoic predators in the comments below. What other prehistoric eras would you love to explore? Hit that subscribe button for more thrilling dives into the prehistoric world.